Here we go. We're getting the skeleton key here for 250. You guys. Okay, here we go. A000. One. Two. Skeleton key. Here we go. There we go. A000. The rooms. And we got the badge. Today in this doors video, I'm going to show you guys how to get the new detour badge and also unlock the new secret area known as the rooms. Make sure you guys watch all the way through so you don't miss any steps since there are some things you need to do that you can easily miss. But yeah, let's just hop straight into the video and show you guys how to do this. I hope you guys do enjoy. So one of the most important things you guys actually have to do when you're in the pre-run shop or in the elevator is buy a lockpick, please. You have to have a lockpick for this to work. Trust me, you could find one, but don't take your chances. Just buy one. That is the first step you need to do. So once you do have your lockpick, just play like normal. You just have to get past the figure in the library. Once you do that, that's pretty easy. You just need to go to straight to Jeff's shop and buy the skeleton key. Right now, you can see me in the library and I'll cut to where I finish it and get into Jeff's shop. Okay, last one is, uh, last one is four, I think. Here we go, let's go. We made it guys, there we go. Let's go, Jeff shop, what's up? We got a, we got a jam. There we go, the skeleton key, we'll be buying that. Here we go, we're getting the skeleton key here for 250. You guys have to get this. We have three lockpicks, you only need like two of them. Here we go, skeleton key for 250. We'll tip him as well, you gotta be nice. We'll tip him a little. We'll tip him a lot. We'll tip him a really, a big amount. Okay, here we go, we're also gonna buy this. Should we just spend it all? Why not? There we go. Okay, here we go, we have the skeleton key now. We just gotta get to door 60, go behind. Here we go, door 60. We got a crucifix and most importantly the skeleton key and two lockpicks. You guys have to have this. Here we go. One thing I forgot to mention while I was recording is you have to flip the switch to open the gate because there is a gate in the maze to get to the actual 001 door or 00 door. So I just forgot to mention that. So go ahead, find that for a little bit. That's what I'm doing right now in the footage and then go back and it should be open. Finally, holy. That took so long. But now, there you go, you have to switch the lever so you can switch the gate. Now if we go back, hey, where are you? There you are. Now if we go back and go behind the bookshelf, it'll be unlocked. Speaking of unlocked, someone's knocking on the door, guys. You should subscribe. Someone's knocking on the door to tell you to subscribe to this channel. Okay, here we go. Right here. You guys ready? There we go. A00. Let's get some screenshots real quick first. Remember, two lockpicks, here we go. One, two, skeleton key, here we go. Press E to hold, okay, this is this is happening right now. Here we go. Whoa, continuing run, reach door 61, uh, continue run. There you go, press continue run, I think we should be there now. Door A000, guys, if you did not know, this is a reference to the rooms game, which is partially based off of, or door is partially based their game off of. We should be coming in so it's a cool reference and then we got this whole entire different thing there we go a000 the rooms and we got the badge hold on i'm taking a screenshot there you go bam detour we got the badge guys that's how you do it but now let's continue for a little bit let's see what's over here what is this thing got like a green flashlight can you go back no you cannot but yeah here we go a001 we're going in Oh, that door animation is weird compared to the regular doors one. We hide in lockers instead. Okay, okay. A002. <laughs> oh, this is odd. This is an odd feeling. Hey, we're still collecting money though. That's what it is. You never stop grinding. Oh, the, the door sound gets me every time. There you go. Everyone's door when they open it at 3 a.m. I'm waiting for something to happen. This is kind of scary at the same time, but also weird. Oh, let's go down here. What does this say? Sydney. Okay, nice little little apartment looking kitchen. Should we use the light? Does the light do anything? Let's see. Holy, the battery drains quickly. I'm not going to use that. We might need that for something in the future, maybe. Another thing, guys. Who is this? Daniel. Daniel when he likes this video. Daniel when he likes this video. Bup, 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 bup. There you go. Okay. Oh, what was that noise? I heard like a, a muffled something. Okay, this is 
This is putting me on edge. Nothing's happened yet. Okay, A050. Here we go. 50th. Nothing. Okay. It is getting slightly darker if you guys have noticed. It's gotten slightly darker since we first came. Oh, I heard another noise. Oh, this is really putting on me on- this is really putting me on edge. I have not, like, nothing's happened yet, but it's getting darker and darker and we're hearing noises. Have this. Uh, I just heard another door open. It's getting really dark now as well. Or not really dark, but it's, it's getting pretty dark. Here we go, 58. Something's gonna happen soon, I can feel it. Oh. 59. Oh no, if something's gonna happen within the next 10, I'm calling it. And I'm not ready for it. What is that? No, man. There's nothing I could hide. Oh, hello. Uh, hello. I'm surprised you found this place. The music's pretty sick right here, too. It's pretty tedious just to get here last time I checked. Okay. Uh, it was pretty tedious, actually. What'd you die to? Uh, whatever that thing was. Whatever ran at me and there was nothing to hide in. Red one. You're not too sure on what to call it? Or what I would call it. Hmm, what should we call it? Tax around A60. I knew it. Around A60, I knew something was gonna happen. I called Zat. A60? Okay. The red thing's A60, I guess. You don't mind trying again? It would be helpful. This music's pretty cool. There we go. Died to A60. Well, there you guys go. I hope this video did help you guys get that secret badge and also go to that secret area, the rooms, which is a really cool nod that Doors put into their game about the actual The Rooms game, which they partially based their game off of or at least took some inspiration for, which I thought was really sick. And I'm going to be trying to go back there and get really far. I want to see how far you can actually go because I'm still pissed because apparently when I looked back and was editing this video, I still had the dumb crucifix that I bought and never used or forgot about. So I also had the flashlight, I don't know if that, like either of those would have done anything. But just another nod if you guys are watching this far, I hope you did enjoy that video. If you want to learn how to use the crucifix more, I do have a video on that right here. My first doors video, it did really well, so go watch that if you want to learn so like some tips on how to get the crucifix and how to use it. So I think that's going to be the video, I hope you did enjoy it. Make sure to like and subscribe, join my discord down below. Also I'd really appreciate it if you guys would check out some of the other stuff I have on my channel. But yeah, that's the whole video, bye!